So Huntela is the highest rated player from this team of the week. Is he any good? Let us find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battlelay.com. The link will be in the description. And use the code ETONY to get 5% um, off. And also, if you're looking for PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap games, check out G2A. The link will also be in the description. So in, in from Huntela, he's not going for much. He's going to go down in price as well. So... A lot, of, a lot of people are going to be able to use him, but are you going to see him often? I wouldn't say so. Now, let us talk about how slow he is. This guy is slow. You might want to try him in a lone striker formation, but he isn't that strong either. So he's got only decent strength. His aggression isn't that great. Neither is his balance. You will see a couple of times him just flying away when defenders tackle him, especially in the penalty area. You'll see a clip where it should be a penalty. He just fucking flew off as soon as the defender tackled him. He can sometimes win some battles, but it is on a rare occasion he's able to hold his own. Now, when it comes down to finishing, this guy is a clinical finisher. I love that about him. And also, outside the penalty area, he wasn't useless. His shooting is pretty good. You'll see um, in his in-game in stats or on his card stats, it shows that he has some pretty awesome shots. But from long range, I have to say, they're, they ain't as amazing as you would think. So when it comes down to Fernandez, I felt he has better shooting than Hunter Law. I don't know, it's just my opinion. But finesse shots, this guy has a finesse shot trait, and I thought it was pretty good when it, when it came down to, you know, trying a finesse shot with him every now and then. But what one thing I really liked about him is his weak foot. It seems like it's as powerful with his right foot as his left. So I know his right footed, but his left felt as good. So it doesn't really matter which you're going to shoot with. Now, one thing that really took me by surprise is his free kick accuracy. It shows in his in-game stats, this guy shouldn't be exactly that great at free kicks. But he scored me a couple of free kicks, which was really surprising. Maybe it comes down to how uh, powerful his shots are and how close I was to the goal. But still, scores me free kicks with that sort of free kick accuracy took me by surprise. Now, moving on to his uh, cons. This guy is slow. Like I was saying at the start of the video, this could be the biggest turnoff to a lot of players because they want someone pacey. And even if he's not that great when it comes down to pace, you would expect him to have a bit of dribbling. And this guy does not have dribbling at all. He doesn't know what dribbling is. He is so hard to dribble the ball with. And even post-patch, it just makes him worse because dribbling has been nerfed by EA. And now it's even harder to dribble with Hontala. And to make it even more worse, he has no agility. So it's so fucking hard to turn with him. It is just so hard and it's not that enjoyable to use post patch when it comes down to using Hunter Law. He also has only three star skills, so it really depends on your playstyle. But if you love to dribble, if you want someone that is a bit more pacey, you are not gonna enjoy using him. Now, is he any good? Do I recommend him? He's an okay player, but do I see myself using him again? No, because there's better strikers to use than him and for a lot cheaper so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate a like let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review next from this team of the week hunter law gets an okay seven out of ten